Nebulae are the birthplaces of stars. Vast interstellar clouds of gas and dust, light years in diameter, gathering more and more matter until they become so dense and massive that they collapse to form a star. A star is a luminous globe of plasma held together by its own gravity and producing its own heat and light in high temperature, high pressure, nuclear fusion reactions of hydrogen and helium. Surface temperatures range from 2,000 degrees to over 30,000 degrees, and their corresponding colors range from red to blue-white. As a star begins to exhaust its fuel supplies, it cools and expands to form a red giant, a large, bright star with a relatively cool surface, up to 250 times its former size. Although their surface temperature is lower, they are very bright because they are so large. Initially, the cores of red giant stars collapse, but as the internal pressure of the core is insufficient to balance gravity, the core reaches hydrostatic equilibrium. It's a bit like a balloon. There is a balance between the pressure of the air inside and the tension in the rubber. Once a star like our sun has exhausted its nuclear fuel, its core will collapse into a dense white dwarf, the shrunken remains of a normal star. Gravity forces the matter into very dense, small, hot stars that cool and fade over several billion years. Its overall luminosity is 1% of the sun or less, and the star is in the last stage of its life cycle. Red dwarfs are very cool, faint, small stars formed from planetary nebulae, approximately one-tenth the size of the sun. Although the universe is not old enough for any of the smallest red dwarfs to have reached the end of their lives, Stellar models suggest they will slowly become brighter and hotter before running out of hydrogen fuel and becoming low-mass white dwarfs. A supernova is the explosive death of a star, and often results in the star briefly obtaining the brightness of a hundred million suns, and then fade out over months or weeks and leave behind neutron stars or black holes. Neutron stars are protons and electrons forced to combine by its own gravity. When a supernova explodes, a neutron star spins very fast and is called a pulsar. They are very dense, typically with a mass of three times the original star, but a diameter of only 20 kilometers. If the remnant neutron star has a mass any greater, its gravity will be so overpoweringly strong that it will shrink and compress further to become a black hole. The density of matter in a black hole cannot be measured and distorts the space around it, often sucking neighboring matter into them. A black hole can grow by pulling in matter from its surroundings and even absorbing other black holes. The gravitational pull in a black hole is so great that nothing can escape from it, not even light.